Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your October reading. I feel like the first thing that I heard was like dreams come true, okay? So that's beautiful. But I also feel like there are some um, chapters that we're still closing. And that's obvious because we are very soon moving into eclipse season, which is going to be a big deal. Um, we also just had the last super moon of 2023 and the last full moon before eclipse season. So there's a lot of endings happening and a lot of new beginnings. I also feel like you've been feeling these changes happening internally for a while. And now it's kind of like everything is just falling into place, which is really kind of nice and, and smooth for you, which I like. I don't think that you're going to have too many sort of like major challenges. Like maybe there's some last minute surprises or changes that happen. Of course, with eclipse season, there's rapid change and new information that always just shows up. Um, but I feel like it's exciting. Maybe some of you have already noticed over the past few weeks um, after Mercury moved direct again in your sign that there was just a lot of clarity, a lot of new information, a lot of new um, offers and opportunities and expansion. Maybe I have some travel, I have some excitement, but like, Oh, excuse me, I'm like burping. Yeah, we are still letting things go. I have this 10 of swords reversed and this moon card. So I feel like there's a little bit of like an emotional challenge. Like you are trying to save everyone or you are trying to self-sacrifice to support another person on their journey. And I feel like there's a fear about leaving this company or leaving this person, friend group, family member, whatever, because there's like, if I leave, what are they going to do? How are they going to survive? Like, bitch, it's not your problem. It's not your karma. And you're actually interrupting their karma. If you continue to like spoon feed them and like, Oh, can I do everything for you? Can I give up my own life for you? It's like that bullshit needs to just go. Like we're not doing that anymore. You're not here to live another person's life. You're not here to support and fix and help everyone all the time for everything. It's like, bitch, you need you right now. Okay. So prioritize yourself and just kind of like stop investing into all of these external things that need fixing. Virgo, stop trying to fix everyone and everything. It like, you can't because other people, if they don't want help, if they're not ready, then it doesn't matter what you say to them. You're speaking a different language. They're not understanding it. They're not in the right place. They're not at the right time in their life to fully be able to receive that advice. And I'm sure you have amazing advice and support. And honestly, I'm sure if you take over, you could fix it. But it's just like, just stop. Like, I feel like there's uh, sort of like coming home to yourself energy. It's like reconnecting to yourself, realigning yourself with your next chapter. Because again, this eclipse season is going to be shifting things. Eclipses are like portals, like one door closes and one door opens. And if you decide to move through the new door with all of your old shit, then that next, you know, door that you move through, you're bringing all of the old stuff. You're bringing these old mental programs. You're bringing these people. You're bringing these projects. And those things, some of them for sure, were only meant to stay in your last chapter with the last version of you. And you've been leveling up. These things are now outdated. So why would you bring them in? It's like you're still using like a fucking Nokia like bag phone from like, the 90s. It's like, bitch, we've updated our technology. You have updated and upgraded yourself. Why are you still using and connecting with these old things that don't support you for your next chapter? And this is what you really need to be sort of reviewing. I feel like you're already aware of a lot of these things, but there's just this, this like hesitation with leaving because again, you feel bad. What are these people going to do without me? They're going to learn. They're going to survive, you know? So it's like, drop it and move forward. You have this like deep identity shift that is happening. And I also feel like that's going to start presenting in the work that you're doing also. Like maybe you work with the collective, maybe you're just, um, maybe you're a dentist or you're working, you know, at a corporate job or whatever. It doesn't matter, but how you show up this new level of understanding who you are, your skills, your confidence, it's going to really start sort of radiating and other people are going to notice like, wow, you really know what you're talking about. I also feel like you're going to be feeling more comfortable and like at peace saying no, being like, I don't want to go. I don't want to be involved in that team. This doesn't really match my requirements. 
this is not on my like pay scale. This is not my responsibility, not my circus, not my monkeys. Like I'm not here to fix and help and clean up everything for everyone all the time. I'm just not doing it anymore because it's not benefiting me really. It's benefiting all of you for sure because I'm fucking perfect. I'm doing everything well. <laughs> so just like watch the ego with that. But like, I, I feel like you have this new way of saying, I'm just not gonna get involved and I'm okay with that. Like, this is not my journey. So, and this also is connected to like social groups and who you're mingling with. Like there's gonna be a lot of people who they expect you to stay the same. And like Virgo, you're always improving. You're always working on yourself. And like, let's be real, like Virgo is the hardest on themselves. So like if other people think that you're being judgmental or like meh, like too whatever, it's like, bitch, you're already internalizing all of that and being too hard on yourself. So it's like, just be a bit softer with yourself. Like you're doing great. Like take a moment to really just appreciate all of the hard work you've been doing. I feel like this is an opportunity for you to also take a break and rest. Like you've been building something for a long time. Maybe it's just internal shifts, um, a new plan that you've been organizing. It's like, it doesn't matter what it is, but just like, take a break, take a pause and just think about like, wow, like I have a nine of cups and a four of wands. It's like, this is really nice. You have a justice card and a nine of swords, both reversed, like, and an ace of wands here. Okay. You are moving into a new chapter. You are, you have paid off a lot of karma. You don't need to be thinking about the same things anymore moving forward. Those people, those projects, those lessons that were stressing you out, that were challenging, that were hard, that were frustrating, that were disappointing, that were sad, that were heartbreaking, like you've learned, you've already figured it out. So this nine of cups, this four of wands, like take a minute to like reconnect with yourself and introduce yourself to the new version of yourself. Remember, this is for October. So if you're feeling like this isn't happening now, by the end of the month, like you're going to be noticing it. After eclipse season, you're going to notice that these strong energies have shifted. And this full moon, again, has been really powerful for asking us to stand in our power in new ways and to start showing up. It was connected to Aries. It affects all of us. A full moon, a super moon, which is closer to the earth and extra powerful, is like really amping us up to see our own skills, our own value, our own worth, and how we have really grown and shifted and it's beautiful. And now your next chapter requires a new version of yourself. And that feels a little bit scary because I feel like a lot of you, especially with this moon card here, and this card also has the eclipse on it, it's like 10 of swords reverse. This is long overdue. These changes you've been feeling for a while, I feel like now, ace of wands, king of wands, you're taking action. Like now you're moving forward and fully committing to this new behavior, this new system, this new structure, those new foundations that you're establishing. And it's gonna take time, of course, but I feel like you are ready to stop self-sacrificing and stop giving up and hesitating on your dreams on what is right for you because you feel obligated to stay and you know, help or do whatever you feel connected to these old cycles and these old people and these old groups and whatever. But it's just like, there is something, this death card and the world here reverse, like you're getting off the fucking train. Like that train has been chugging along for some time. And like now you're getting off and you're like, I'm just, I'm gonna walk a little bit by myself. Like I need to reintroduce myself to who I am now. I wanna, I'm hearing like recalibrate, like, there's been so many changes internally, externally, updates, upgrades, like releases, cleanses. And it's just like, whew, now it's time to just like, who the fuck am I? Like maybe just like sit in front of the mirror for a little bit and just gaze at yourself and just talk to yourself and like figure out like what is next for you. Because there's also, I have a seven of swords reverse. Like I feel like you're leaving a situation or a past where you felt like you couldn't trust people, where people really took advantage of you. People have been taking advantage of your kindness, of your kind heart, um, people that may be lying, cheating, stealing from you. And now like whatever those old programs and wounds that you've been carrying for so long, I feel like you're really just finding more peace with letting that go. And that's beautiful. But I really suggest strongly, like 
using this last full moon of um, this chapter because the eclipse is going to open a new door. So again, you don't want to carry all of this old shit. So if you're still watching this and you're like, wow, I really feel that way. Then I'm like, bitch, go and watch the full moon workshop. I literally will clear your energy in that workshop. It's pay what you can so you can donate anything. Like I don't care, but like just watch it. It's a home video. It's like 25 minutes long. Like this nine of cups, four of wands, you are moving into a better chapter, more peace, more balance, tranquility, expansion, getting everything you really desire and deserve. And like you're rewriting the way you see relationships and how you show up. And I feel like you're learning to trust more, trust yourself, trust other people. And this is beautiful. Of course, we're still going to have just like natural challenges, like welcome to earth, <laughs> but like you're moving forward in new ways. So this full moon was asking you to stand in your power and rewrite that new identity. Remember, Aries is connected to the first house in modern day astrology, which represents who you are and how you show up. So when you look at an Aries full moon, which influences all of us, you don't need to be an Aries to receive that energy. We're all experiencing it together. Like that full moon in Aries is showing you how much you've changed and how to show up in a new way. And if you want to show up in a new way, what do you have to do? You have to sacrifice the old self, right? We're letting go and we're integrating the new self. So like use this energy. It was the last super moon of 2023 which is a very powerful energy because the moon is literally closer to the earth and amplifying these shifts and it's the last full moon before eclipse season which is when that next door opens so don't bring this old version of yourself into the next chapter don't bring this old obligation and regret and bullshit and people and projects and these things don't bring them into the next chapter if you're still feeling like well, I need to carry them for a little bit because I'm trying to disconnect. That's fine, but you need to establish the intentions, energetically communicate. That's what you want to let go of and it'll happen faster. This eclipse will support it. So if you're still here because this is making sense, because this is, wow. If you're still here because this is making sense to you, sorry, I'm like, well, I'm trying to sign. Go click on the link in my bio, watch the full moon workshop. It'll take you 25 minutes, okay? Like use this energy. Don't carry this shit into the next chapter. I love you, Virgo. I'll see you very soon. Send this to another friend. Share this on your Instagram story. I literally show up every month for you, so support me back, okay? Show other people where they can find this kind of information because obviously it's helpful, right? Um, I love you. I'll see you very soon. Ciao.